Today, I'm going over five fingerboard hacks that if you don't know already, you are about to learn. So that is right, I'm going over five fingerboard hacks. So I'm not going to do too much talking, but if you're new to the channel, my name is Alex Pickering and I post fingerboard videos. So if you want to see more videos just like this, the subscribe button is down there. I don't even need to tell you where it is. You all know where it is. And now time to show you the first hack. So the first hack is cleaning your wheels. A lot of people have different methods. Some people just take a wheel, blow into it get some of the dirt out of it. Other people pop the bearing out, put it in rubbing alcohol, do a bunch of other things. But something that I've found works pretty well is if you take compressed air and just blow into the bearing, that blows a lot of dirt out, gets a bunch of other stuff out of there that doesn't need to be in there, and it makes your wheels work a lot better. <laughs> But just be careful, you do not blow your wheel away off the table to be gone forever. <laughs> on to hack number two. So this is an obstacle I made. As you see, it's just wood on the bottom. Nothing stopping this from sliding. So if I go to use it, it is very annoying. I'm not even forcing that, that's just how it slides. So you can see that is very annoying. You have the exact same problem and I just know that. So an easy solution that is very simple and it doesn't even cost you really anything is use scrap pieces of grip tape. And before I get too much farther into this video, I wanted to say I did not invent any of these hacks that I'm showing you. I've gotten these from numerous other places, seen these online. People have told me about some of these. So I have not made any of these by myself. These are not my ideas, so don't make a comment saying you copied from somebody because I know. So I just thought I'd say that before I get into the video, just saying that these are not my ideas. So what you want to do with your grip tape is just stick it on each corner. You can make this look a lot nicer, but these are just scrap pieces of grip tape I have. So just stick it on. And there you go, problem solved. So this hack works very well. So on to hack number three. I held up four fingers, number three. So this hack is pretty important and it is basically don't buy Black River obstacles. And I will explain why. So no, I'm not saying don't buy Black River because of this or this or this. I'm just saying that Black River obstacles are pretty expensive, actually very expensive for a lot of them. And you can make the exact same thing for like very low cost and it'll work just as well. And you even see, I have Black River in front of me and they are very high quality products that I definitely do recommend getting at some point. But if you're just getting into fingerboarding, you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars on Black River obstacles like this. I spent $10 in wood on this and I just made this and this is as good as Black River. And I know there are a lot of people out there that don't have power tools, don't have any experience working with wood to make anything like this. So if you're that type of person, then I say go ahead, get Black River stuff. But if you feel like you can make obstacles, then by all means make it. Like for example, I've made this giant fingerboard half pipe and I made this for $3. Even though it is made out of paper, it is very solid and also it's pretty durable considering this is made out of foam and paper. I've also made this curved fingerboard rail. So just saying you are able to make all this and I actually have YouTube videos on how to make all of these plus many more. So go check those out if you want to see how to make these. Hack number four, I now have held up the right amount of fingers. In these hack videos, I like to do hacks for kind of all levels and this hack is for the very beginner. This is for the person who just got into fingerboarding and is struggling with getting their first ollie. So here I am at my wall behind here that is solid, and you want to practice your ollies 
on a wall because there's this thing called gravity and when you're on a table, gravity works against you. But when you're on a wall, it works for you. So go watch a couple of Ollie tutorials. I have one out there if you want to go check it out, but I don't really care which one you watch. But anyways, get the basic idea of how to Ollie and then it's pretty easy on a wall. And this will get you very comfortable on how to Ollie. And then once you have it very clean and it's very easy, then take that exact same motion and do it on a table. This also makes it very easy for learning front side 180s and back side 180s. And even if you're able to do tricks and able to do kick flips and 360 flips and all that, you might still want to try this because it gives you a good habit of how to do a very good ollie because we all pick up bad habits while doing an ollie just on a table. So to just take it one step back, do it on a wall, it makes it a lot easier. So hack number five, go to your bathroom with your fingerboard and use your sink as a bowl. Hopefully you have a couple bathrooms in your house so you have a couple different options unless all your sinks are exactly the same, which is a possibility, but hopefully you have a couple different options. So basically just ride your sink as a fingerboard bowl because to be honest, it's not that bad. So that is it. That is five very simple fingerboard hacks that if you didn't already know, now you know. And I hope a lot of these hacks were helpful for you in a lot of ways. And if you found these helpful and you want to see more videos like this, go check out. I have three other fingerboard hack videos. Yeah, three other fingerboard hack videos out there with brand new hacks that you may not have seen. But do be careful, you just don't blow it. Outtake. <laughs> So that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed this, found this very helpful. And if you did, hit the subscribe button down there. I really appreciate all of you guys watching my videos. One video is up there and another one is down there. All my social media links are in the description below. And I will see you in my next video.